This question is related to linear programming. The question is maximize p equals to 6x plus 5y under the constraint x plus y is less than or equals to 6, x minus y is greater than or equals to minus 2, x is greater than or equals to 0, and y is greater than or equals to 0. Solution The constraint are the constraint are first one is x plus y is less than or equals to six x minus y is greater than or equals to minus 2 x is greater than or equals to 0 y is greater than or equals to 0 objective function is p is equals to 6x plus 5y. Now the boundary line for boundary line for inequality one is x plus y is equals to six or y equals to 6 minus x. Now we are going to construct a table for this one, this line. x here and y when the value of x is 0 the value of y is 6 when the value of x is 1 the value of y is 5 similarly when the value of x is minus 1 then value of y is 7 first of all we need to draw x-axis and y-axis scale is equals to we'll suppose this 5 unit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 5 small square boxes equals to one unit for the line y equals to 6 minus x the coordinates are 0 comma 6 1 comma 5 minus 1 comma 7 now we are going to plot this point 0 comma 6 means 0 origin 1 2 3 4 5 6 this point is 0 comma 6 and the next point is 1 5 so 1 1 2 3 4 5 and the next one is minus 1 7 minus 1 7 means 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 now we need to now we need to draw a line plotting this point in graph we'll take origin at the testing point taking 0 comma 0 as testing point 
then inequality 1 becomes 0 plus 0 is less than equals to 6 or 0 is less than equals to 6 this condition is true so the solution is 2 words the origin now for the feasible reason we need to take origin as the testing point as the this line does not passes through origin what we find is that 0 is less than equals to 6 it is true it means that the solution is towards the origin and remember one thing if the line passes through origin then we need to take a point such that that point does not lie uh, lies in that line means if the line passes from origin then we can take 1 comma 1 or 3 comma 2 <laughs> Also, boundary line for inequality is x minus y. is equals to minus 2 or y equals to x plus 2 we need to find the coordinate if the value of x is 0 and value of y is 2 if the value of x is minus 2 then value of y is 0 similarly if the value of x is 2 then value of y is 4 similarly for the second inequality that is x minus y is greater than or equals to minus 2 its boundary line is x minus y equals to minus 2 uh, that is that is uh, the lines becomes y equals to x plus 2 now we are going to plot this point for this line the vertices are 0 2 minus 2 0 2 4 0 2 means 1 2 0 2 minus 2 0 minus 1 minus 2 0 and next is 2 4 1 2 one two three four now we are going to join these vertices now after plotting this point in graph paper for the as this line does not passes through origin means we will take origin as the testing point taking 0 comma 0 as testing point then in in then inequality then inequality 2 becomes zero minus zero is greater than or equals to minus two or zero is greater than equals to minus two it is true so the solution 
is towards the origin. Its solution is towards the origin. Similarly, the boundary line for inequality 3 and 4 are x equals to 0 y equals to 0. We will also draw the graph for these for these two lines. Similarly for the third inequality that is x is greater than or equals to 0. Uh, for that the boundary line is x equals to 0. x equals to 0 means y. So it is given that x is greater than or equals to 0 means it is x is greater than or equals to 0 means its solution is towards the right side similarly the last inequality is y is greater than or equals to 0 y equals to 0 means a line that is x axis greater than 0 means it's above the origin it is y is greater than or equals to 0 and the common feasible reason is this one. The four points are O zero comma zero, A six comma zero, B two comma four, and C zero comma two. Therefore, feasible reason is O zero comma zero, A six comma zero, B two comma four, and C zero comma two. From graph the feasible reason is reason is O zero comma zero A six comma zero B two comma four and C 0 comma 2 now we are going to construct a table for this one so, vertices function P equals to 6x plus 5y And remarks the vertices are O 0 comma 0 a 6 comma 0 B 2 comma 4 and C 0 comma 2 if we substitute uh, this uh, the value of X and Y in this function we'll get 0 for this one that is p equals to 6 into 0 plus 5 into 0 its value is 0 similarly p equals to 6 into 6 plus 5 into 0 its value is 36 for the point B2 comma 4 it's 6 into 2 plus 5 into 4 its value is 6 into 12 5 into 4 20 12 plus 20 it's 32 or point C it's 6 into 0 plus 5 into 2 it's 10 now see this value, this maximum value is 36, means for remarks it is maximum. 
if you are finding minimum then what is the least value that will be the minimum the maximum value of P is 36 at the point 6 comma 0 so in this way we can maximize the given function under the given constraint